Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the operation of an current stirred voltage control oscillator. So, what is meant by voltage control oscillator? By means of controlling the voltage, we are going to oscillate the frequency. There is a meaning of voltage control oscillator over here. So, here this structure is called an current stirred inverter or current stirred VCO. So, in between, you can see here M8 and M14 forms an inverter and M9 and M15 forms an inverter. Likewise, third stage, fourth stage, fifth stage. So, here we have an odd number of stages as in ring oscillator. So, this is a basic inverters. So, for the basic inverters, how we are going to give the source? By means of using a current mirror. Here you can see, uh, we have an we have an voltage something called 1 volts this 1 volt is given to the N mass and same N mass current has been given to the P mass so here you can see a current mirror the gate and then corresponding your source has been short circuited so the gate and drain terminal has been short circuited, circuited. so this is a current mirror so whatever is the current over here the same current will flow to the P mass and then from the same P mass, the same current is copied to the all the P mass. So depends on the voltage, depends on the input voltage, we can control the oscillations. So if my voltage gets increases, then the P mass, this corresponding voltage gets increases. By doing so, the input source to this inverters will be gets increases, the frequency gets increases. Suppose if my voltage gets decreases, then P mass voltage gets decreases and N mass voltage gets decreases. So by doing so, the corresponding output frequency gets affected. So that's why we are calling this as a voltage control oscillator. So it depends on the input voltage, it will it will change your oscillations. If my voltage gets increases, the same voltage has been copied to the P mass current mirror technique, and then by having the same voltage to the all the P mass, these are called current sources. These are called all are called current sources as P mass and this all are called as an current source N mass. So why why we are naming it as a current stabbed? So by means of a current mirror technique that we are going to starving the star star means if we are going to reduce the current flow to the inverters or we are going to increase the current flow to the inverters. That's why we will call this as a current stabbed inverter. The fre basic frequency for the in current start oscillator is F is equal to 1 by 2 N into TD where N is the number of stages and where TD is the propagation time delay of an each stage of your inverter. So now let us go for a you know, simulation. So before going for simulations I have kept as my double bell ratio as a 1 micro by 50 N and then I have used my N mass as a 500 N by 50 N. So I have included my BSIM4 models uh, for all these files and let me go for an execution. So here we can see the oscillations. So here we can see the oscillations and then to find the frequency. So here this is the first cursor and then click once again to get the another cursor. Uh, so. So here you can see uh, for a single cycle uh, for a single cycle it's gone up and I'm sorry. Yeah. I will keep it near. Yeah. So for a single cycle it's gone up and gone down. The frequency is around 3.0209 GHz. So this is the corresponding frequency of oscillation for the current star inverter. So now as you keep on increasing the number of stages, since F is inversely proportional to the number of stages, as you keep on increase the number of stages, the frequency gets keep on decreases. So and then if you have a three number of stage, then the frequency can get increased and for a single stage it will not oscillate. Thank you for watching.